All right, guys, in today's video, we're gonna talk about how to release the club correctly, powerfully, and with less effort, so you can get the golf swing we all want that hits the ball solid, where you're more consistent out on the course with less thought, which feels easy to do. And I'm gonna show you how to do that with our new training aid, the straight stick. Let's dive in. All right, guys, when we talk about how to release the club correctly, as I've looked at tens of thousands of golf swings over the past you know, 15, 16 years, there's one commonality in all great golf swings that we have to have in our swing if we want that easy flowing release, that compression, that consistency day to day. And what that is, and we'll show you this on the screen here, is the ability to have the club fully released by the time the club's about 45 degrees past impact. So all the players that we're gonna show you on the screen all end up looking the same way past impact. And that's the timing of this full release being past impact. The higher the handicap, the more inconsistent ball striker that I see every day, that full release would start happening earlier and earlier and earlier and earlier and earlier back here, right? We need to learn how to do it past impact. The first thing is understanding that that's our intention. We're trying to have the club fully released with the arm straight out here past impact. The second thing to know is how do we do that? What are the keys to get there? And there's really two mechanical things that are responsible for that. And one little trainer with this compression clicker I'll show you here in a minute. The pieces that are responsible for that are the unloading of the trail arm and wrist. That would be piece number one. And the second piece is the motion of the body, which is the turning and tilting. So piece number one is the unloading of the trail arm and trail wrist. And what I mean by that is when I get down into delivery, we would see golfers, good golfers about here, the trail arm is still bent, the trail wrist is still bent, right? Now I'm going to gradually straighten my right arm and gradually release my right wrist to the point where at impact, my right arm still bent some, my right wrist is still bent some, and they're not fully released until here. I mean, I'm teaching golfers this move every single day, whether it's in person or online, and the solidness of contact is night and day with that one little piece. So we, most of us release those angles too soon, back here, back behind the golf ball. We wanna release those angles later out here, okay? And part of that's having the right arm a bit more bent and the right wrist a bit more bent. Now, by using the straight stick and the compression clicker, I believe you could get that for free without having to think about it by just using this, which we'll get to. So the right arm and right wrist is piece number one responsible for the timing of the release. Early, bad, later, good. The second thing is the body motions, okay? I can't have the timing of my right arm straightening and my right wrist releasing to about here. I can't possibly do that with poor body motions. Poor body motions would mean two things. Number one, the worst ball striker, most inconsistent, has the least amount of body rotation. So they're facing the golf ball, that's hips, pelvis, rib cage, et cetera. And they also have the least amount of side bend, which means they're standing up, right? Early extension from the down the line angle, losing their posture. The most inconsistent golfer has the least rotation and they don't maintain their posture. And if I'm getting farther from the ball and not rotating, what do my arms have to do? Straight and early, good or bad? Bad. And vice versa, if I straighten early, what does my body have to do? Stall out and stand up, okay? What are the good ball strikers we're gonna show you on the screen look like? Well, not only is the timing of the release later, they have their body turning and they have what? They're tilted, meaning past impact, you can see the pictures, they stay in their spine angle, they're down. And I'm gonna give you some cues for that. But I wanna wrap that all up into something simple, and this is where the straight stick comes in. So if you didn't see the video on Tuesday, I would also recommend checking that out. We have an offer for you with the straight stick that's valid till the eighth here to give you just an unbelievable deal and make it a no-brainer, because I believe this is gonna really help you. In fact, I spent a year working on this with our partners at Performance Golf Zone, with the designer Jeff Sheets, with Rocco Media, to make this to the point where we're standing here today. There's a lot of time and effort has gone into this. And the clicker in particular, the compression clicker, Notice when I hit a ball here, the timing of that click, okay? If I can get this clicker to the point where it releases pass impact, I must have done pretty well in those two areas I mentioned. The timing of the right arm unloading, 
and the body motions instead of me having to think all about that. Okay, now you might have to think a little bit in the beginning, but to the point where this is easy and effortless. So this compression clicker, you're gonna hear it past impact. Okay, the grip piece we talked about a little bit, we'll talk about more next video, but the compression clicker. Listen to this one. So you can't see that ball flight, but that's beautifully straight shot. And that's the other good thing. You guys know if you watch our videos, a training aid to me is only effective if you can hit balls with it. Okay, the fact that I could hit a full swing shot there with a seven iron, and you heard the click pass impact, okay? Now the cool thing with this compression clicker is if I release the club too early, it doesn't click. And also if I release the club too late, it doesn't click. And that was a big thing we went back and forth on in the design to get perfect. If I come down, it's just a little magnet that's attached here um, on the club, which we'll show you. When I come down, if I release the club too early, there's no clicking. There's that flip motion we're trying to fix. Inconsistent ball striking. And in fact, if I hold on to it forever and I don't release it ever, also no clicking. But if I do it to the point where I release it at that 45 degree mark, there's gonna be the click and that click is gonna be happening through the ball, just past impact. You hear that? And another beautiful tight little draw. And you can see when it comes down then that little magnet comes back on the club. And that's the beauty of this design. But not only does that work good, we wanted to take it a step farther because not all of us swing the same way. We have different swing speeds. So you'll see on the club, you can change this and move this easily up and down 60 miles per hour, 70, 80, 90, 100. I've got it on 90, which is my seven iron speed. So depending upon the speed you have as well, the club's actually gonna tell you where you have to release. So if you've got a little bit of a slower speed, it's gonna allow you to release a little bit sooner so you have enough loft. If you've got a faster speed, you can release a little bit later absolutely genius design by Jeff with that. When I sent that back and we talked about that, I frankly, I didn't think there was any way he was gonna be able to do that, but he did it. And so not only do I get the timing of it, it's relative to the speed I have. Now this releasing later thing, right? I've tried a gazillion different training aids and none to me that have really been that effective, right? Like I've tried things, you see things in videos, this little towel drill, right? I had people doing this before where you learn how to whip the towel past impact, get the speed of the club out there. And you might get a general feel, but I can't hit balls with a towel and I don't think it transfers very well as soon as you remove it. I've also had these clubs, you've seen some of these like whippy clubs, right? Clubs that are real bendy and whippy. And I've used those myself with players and sometimes there's a little bit of success with the club, but as soon as you take the club away, it's the same shit. Like it just doesn't work long term. And so I wanted to make sure that this straight stick actually worked, right? And we've tested this with hundreds of golfers at this point for a long enough period of time that I can say confidently that it does. Outside of me hitting these shots right here, this is the first club because it's designed like a normal seven iron. It feels the same weight, okay? It feels the same sort of stiffness of the shaft for me. It feels the same way and I can actually hit shots with it. So when I do this and I learn how to get that click pass impact, I can take my club and feel the same thing. Let's do it one more time. I mean, not only does that get that release timing just perfect, just perfect pass impact, it also gives me something very easy to focus on. Like if I take this out for a second and I were to pull my normal club back in, the grip being on there to me, I like just as much. I mean, that freaking thing is unbelievable, which we'll talk about that in Sunday's video. But the clicker as well, now I know what it feels like to take that club and have it release here, release here. Notice I'm not at the ball. I'm also, for most players, not at the target. You'll see some players at the target with it. Those players have a large amount of rotation and side bend. That would be like Dustin Johnson, Colin Moore Cower. Most of us, Rory, Tiger, maybe me some days, hopefully you when you're hitting well. The examples we're gonna show you on the screen, 45 pass impact. So 45 pass impact means like, not at the ball, not at the target, but halfway in between the two, okay? So when I take my club in, all I'm thinking about is getting that club releasing to there, right? Releasing meaning the arms are straight, the right arm and the right wrist are thrown, and my thumbs are down, right? The club's fully released down towards the ground. I take that same feel and I could do that same thing with my club. And it gives me a very easy reference. I personally love how my grip feels right after that. So there feels like I do the same thing. I couldn't hit the ball guys like that? Couldn't hit the ball more solid than that. I'm telling you, okay, I get sent a lot of training aids. I get training aids sent to my house, probably 10 or 15 of them every month. And in 16 years, we've now promoted 
three that I love. Okay, this is the third one. And this is the first one that I've been included in the design the whole time. So those three issues that we're fixing, the club face, the club path, and the release timing, aren't by accident, because this is what I see every single day that you guys need help with. And for a price point that I think is unbelievable and what you get with it, it solves those issues. So if you're someone who does and you want a little bit more detail, right? The only thing I'd add to this, because normally most of us struggle with throwing too early, that means the right arm's too straight too soon, the right wrist is too straight too soon, and I have no rotation as I'm standing up. So I've got bad on both sides. What you do want to feel here to help throw later out to this point, Clay Ballard talks about the line of compression, right? The release line right here. I love that term to get that pointed right back at me. When I'm doing that pass impact, if you're someone from this angle, you need to feel like the right arm and right wrist stay a bit more bent, a bit longer, okay? And through impact, in fact, let's just do that first. Your right arm and right wrist are a little bit more bent, a bit longer, but you're still throwing it out there. You're still creating that click past impact. Right arm and right wrist stay a little bit bent, a little bit longer. And I'm throwing it past impact. Hopefully you can hear how compressed that golf ball is. And all I'm imagining in my mind, this is what I mean, where it works good after I stop using it. Not like a tower, not like those whippy clubs where it goes away right away. It works just as good when I stop using it. The right arm and right wrist stay bent. Okay, a little longer. I feel like I'm throwing and straightening them right here. The body feels, to go along with this, I'm gonna feel like through impact, my right shoulder stays down a little bit, which keeps me from down the line, like it looks like I'm keeping my, my spine angle. And I'm gonna feel like my chest is up and at the target. So my shoulders are fully turned. So for me, the feel is straighten the arm and the wrist out here, the right shoulder's down, the chest is up. Straighten the arms, pass impact, right shoulder down, chest is up. And you'll see in all of those, in the pictures we put on the screen, how that right shoulder staying down through impact, the chest points up towards the sky, not down, and the shoulders are fully turned. And if I can do that, that makes it easier and easier and easier and easier to do the arm and the wrist pieces. But again, that's only really if you want an added layer of detail. What I would suggest is you get the straight stick and keep it as simple as just release it here, release it here, release it here. So right arm and wrist are a little bit more bent. I feel shoulder down, chest up. Shoulder down, chest up. That gets me the shoulders turning. But I feel like I do that same throw pass impact. We'll do one more. Yeah, very solid. So gosh, I, I mean, I wish I could have had this when I was younger and saved a bunch of time. Like I talked about in the last lesson where, last video, where well, I would get a lesson, kind of get it a little bit and then I'd go and I'd be lost and I had no way to know if I was doing it correctly. One year designing the straight stick, okay? Three things in 16 years that I really, really, really believe in. The compression clicker works incredible. They're gonna give you, and our partners at Performance Golf, we'll put the link down below and in the description. You have till Monday night to get this. There's only a certain amount. When they sell out, they sell out. We're gonna give you a big discount on the price. We're also gonna put in like five or $600 worth of bonuses stuff that I filmed with Rocco, that filmed that, the stuff that Rocco filmed as well. You'll see him there, the straight stick secrets, how to use this bad boy, accuracy training video he did, a live stream answering questions that he did, very, very good stuff. We're also gonna try and take all the risk out of place. So you have a 365 day money back guarantee, which means I only want you to have this and pay for it if it actually works for you. If you don't like it for whatever reason, it doesn't work for you, which I don't see happening, but no big deal. We'll send you your money back, okay? Absolutely free of charge. I want to take the risk away. I know this can really help you. You saw the results there. You're going to see them for yourselves. We'll put that link down below. You have till Monday night, again, midnight Eastern Standard Time. When they sell out, they sell out. Do yourself a favor. Grab one down below. Learn how to get that clicking past impact. Get rid of all those other thoughts. And by just getting that part right, which all the good players do, no matter where they're coming from, you can hit the ball solid and more consistent, which is what we all want at the end of the day.